Hello, my name is Gary and welcome to this video blog. I want to talk to you today about a couple of topics which I'm often asked about. The first is cyberspace. How big is it? All this data that we keep hearing about, where is it? And who's creating it? Well, it's a good question. But the other question I'm often asked is the word cyber, where does it come from? How has it become so popular in such a short space of time? And again, it's a great question. Because now we seem to hear the word cyber linked to so many different things. We hear it uh, attached to cyberspace, obviously, cyber crime, cyber terrorism, cyber porn, cyber sex, cyber stalking, cyber bullying, cyber war. Lots of different ways of using that, that phrase. Um, but originally, it actually came from uh, a Greek word, and the Greek word means pilot, or steersman, or government, or governing, and it was actually popularized by a German mathematician called Norbert Wiener, and he did a, a work, he, he wrote a, a piece, back in the 1940s called Cybernetics. And this was his uh, prediction of a future that was controlled by a self-governed computer system that had its own feedback loop and that was growing and continu would continue to grow. But it wasn't actually until the 1980s that we started to see the word cyber linked with other words to meaning something to do with digital. And it's all because of a musician. And that musician was Gary Newman. Now, if you're not aware of who Gary Newman is, I would urge you to go and Google it or go and ask your parents who he was. But the important thing is, he created a sound that hadn't been heard before. He used digitized uh, uh, keyboards um, and instruments uh, to create a new sound out of the back of punk music. So punk music was on its way out and he created this new sound. And a DJ was heard to comment that uh, this new music and this new mus musician was actually the original cyberpunk. And from that moment on, the word cyber became connected to anything dealing with uh, digitized sounds or digitized information. And that's where it is, really. And that's how we got to where we are today, using the word cyber in front of all these other words to mean in anything to do with computers or digital media, uh, videos, sound, whatever it might be. So that's where it is. Um, in terms of how big cyberspace is, well, that's a, a more difficult question to, to answer because just like the real universe, uh, cyber universe is expanding almost on a day-by-day, uh, minute-by-minute, second-by-second basis. If we just think about the last 60 seconds, for instance, on Facebook, there will have been around about 246,000 updates. And along those updates, there will have been about 1.8 million likes. In terms of Twitter, there will have been around about 278,000 tweets done in the last 60 seconds. Now, just think about the day that you first had your first email. You might have been very excited about that. Well, in actual fact, nowadays, we send approximately 290 billion emails a day. Now, they, there are estimates that over 70% of those emails are actually spam and uh, uh, hackers or spam in terms of uh, malicious software trying to gain access to your systems and to your, your uh, personal information. Alongside all of that email, we're sending around about 5 billion text messages. You may have been texting as we were talking. Now imagine, if you will, that we got all that information, all the digital information, so all the music that you may be listening to. Uh, uh, on your iPods or your, your uh, Android uh, devices, etc. And you take all that information alongside all the video footage that we see, all the video footage that I'm putting out on YouTube here, and we put it into one place, along with all those emails. What would it look like? Would I have enough to fill up this room? Absolutely. Would I have enough to, for instance, fill up a DVD of this sort of nature? Yeah, clearly. Um, but how many? Well. If I was to take all the information from around the world, all the information I've just mentioned there, and place that onto a DVD like this, it would take me approximately 550 billion DVDs of this nature to take all that information and put it on there. And that's as we speak today. 
if I was to take each one of those DVDs and put the next one on top of the next, we would have enough DVDs to reach the moon in five equal columns. So visualize that for a second. DVD information, all of that digitized information on a DVD reaching the moon. That's a lot of information out there in cyberspace. And it needs to be controlled. We need to be um, understanding where this information is. But that's for a future blog. Today, all I wanted to do really was just introduce you to the, uh, the idea that uh, cyberspace, the cyber universe is quite big. And um, the word cyber itself originates in uh, past history, but was popularized just down to uh, a young musician. So thank you very much for your time right now and uh, hope to see you on the next video blog. Thank you. Take care.